He enjoyed the company of old farmers and a simple country life. He had said, the old farmer was, for the clod of the earth, both its priest and doctor. In Schelberger's writings, he relates one ancient practice that had survived up to his time, and that was called the practice of clay singing. Uh, when Schelberger first heard about this, he went over to visit an old farmer, and he heard the farmers singing, and he thought the farmer had gone mad. He went and checked it out, and he saw him stirring just clear water in a barrel. Get stir, get a vortex going in one direction, then reverse it the other way. And he would throw like little handfuls of loamy soil in every now and then. And on the counterclockwise stir, he would sing upscale from very deep bass up to high falsetto, and then reverse that on the clockwise, going downscale. And then this water was taken and sprayed with like a broom, like this, and it would be sprayed around on the land and allowed to dry. And this would leave like a very fine crystalline structure which would help charge up the land organically. This spade was based on Victor Schauberger's agricultural theories. It's a solid oak spade coated with copper. Now Victor noticed that with the decline of the ancient agricultural methods like the use of the wooden plow that there came a concomitant decrease in the fertility of the soil. The soil would dry out and not sustain life. Now Victor discovered that this was due to the iron plows that were coming into use, cutting the magnetic lines of the earth, and it would, the earth would lose its charge, the water levels would drop. It was just generally detrimental to the plants, and Victor felt this was a serious problem that had to be looked into, and in his researches, he discovered that copper, when used on farming implements, greatly increased the fertility of the soil and allowed it to remain rich and moist and supportive of life. This patent for Victor's copper plow was granted in 1950. Many of these golden plows, as they became known, were manufactured, but pressure from the fertilizer industry halted their production. He also worked on this model for a spiral plow, which would move the earth in a centripetal motion, copying the work of a mole as it burrows underground. This type of implement opened up a whole new field of biological machinery for agriculture. <laughs> 